These are the papers for the forest. These little pieces of paper, little flimsy pieces of paper can break and end something that's so strong in somebody's heart. I did it. <laughs> Welcome back, family. Today we are reviewing this modern woman who tried to test her husband by divorcing him thinking that he will beg her to not leave him. It all backfired when her husband got so tired of her childish behavior and didn't contest the divorce. Now she cannot stop crying and blaming everyone for her reckless actions. Let's first start by exposing the day she was getting ready to file. So, here's this. These are... Uh papers for the forest and um that's very sad i don't understand now eight years um try my best to love somebody and fight for them to put up with so much abuse can just be wiped out with little papers. <laughs> so easy. And as much as I know that this needs to happen, um, it still hurts. Because I never wanted this. I actually did love him. And I know you, how can you love somebody that does those things to you? I, I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe I see brokenness in people, and I know that we can all be better people and heal if we want to. <laughs> I'm sad. It's this. This is the dreams that I had for us as a family and as husband and wife. And these little pieces of paper, little flimsy pieces of paper, <laughs> can break and end something that's so strong in somebody's heart. And it's hard. <laughs> I'll get through, but I'm sharing my journey with you guys, every part of it. Just so you know that you're not alone and you guys make me feel not alone. So, here goes. No, ma'am. Nobody is forcing you to file those papers. You are willingly deciding to divorce your husband. This is a life-changing decision that you are making in real time, and you have to assume the consequences. Guys, this woman thought that her husband was going to beg her to stay and accept all her needy demands if she threatened to file for divorce. Check it out. So, day one, after filing... And I feel so sad. I know I'm going to go through different emotions, but right now I feel sad. Um, I think the last time I felt a pain like this was when my mom died. And in a way, this is a death um, of hope. And I look around and I, I see, I just want to scream. Like I see the Christmas trees that I put up and all this beautiful home and all my dreams I had for us I just want to scream I just want to like run away I want to get I want to, I don't want to see any of this it hurts you know I don't want to see it I know that um, this is going to be a process for me ups and downs and I'm sure you know I kind of probably like Corey smile, like get over it, you know, but this is my page to heal and to be brutally honest about every piece of this journey. So I barely slept last night. I've got a migraine. My heart's broken. And uh, so much of me wishes that he'd be like, I'll change, I'll fix this, I love you. I'm sorry for all the things I said. You know, you never deserved it. I'll never say that again. I'll will pay attention to you. I'll 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 communicate with you. I'll lose my anger. It's not going to change. 
but I guess I'm somebody that will always have hope because not not always have hope until the divorce is done I'll always have hope that things could change um, and I guess that's just me being stupid I'm sure many of you would say or maybe it's just me trying to see the good in everybody. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm not weak. I don't know why I became this woman. Who am I? <laughs> but this is where I'm at today, this morning. I'm sad. So, let me get this clear. She doesn't know what she wants. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know if she made the right choice or not. But she is the first person to tell her husband how he should treat her. You just can't make this shit up. This next clip is really going to show you how needy this woman really is. So I saw a comment. I deleted it, but I need to respond to it. Someone asked to hear my husband's side. So let me tell you, my husband's side. Well, um, he loved me and gave me everything he had. And did everything in the world for me. And you know what? I have to tell you, though, actually, to his credit, he did do so much for me except show me love and respect and attention and hold me and kiss me and look at me and, and communicate with me and um, try to have a conflict resolution ever. Um, he, he did everything in the world that money could do or he could physically do, but emotionally he, he's been gone since month two. And I happen to be pregnant. So um, there's that. And that's very typical of the personality type I'm dealing with. There you have it. She even admitted that her ex-husband did a lot for her, but she still wanted more. You cannot give enough affection to a broken woman. She will always want more because all she really wants is validation at all times, just for existing. And the next clip will show you more proof that a broken woman knows deep down that she is inadequate and that is why she need attention all the time just to feel alive. Okay, so I've got a business idea. We need to come up with a robot boyfriend or girlfriend, partner, whatever for people that are um, going through a divorce. That way you don't feel super lonely and you can like, or, or is there like a service of men or women, but for me it'd be man, that I could buy um, to just give me compliments all day and tell me he loves me and everything's gonna be okay and call me and check on me and like just build me the hell up and because I don't actually want someone I just want some affirmation right now so is there we, we need to create a service like this um, I'm taking applicants right now this might come out as a joke, but remember that it is the same thing she said about what was wrong with her ex-husband. This means that it is in her belief that a man should compliment and validate her all the times. Now before the sweet tears of regret, I will show you one more clip that will illustrate how much this woman is confused. After filing for divorce, she decided to come back in her ex-husband's life, then decided to leave again by claiming her so-called abuse. Her life is just such a mess. Check it out. Hey y'all, um, it's Corey. And I'm finally ready. I know a lot of you um, we're probably cringing that I gave him another chance. Um, I spent the past year um, with the divorce filed sitting in the court and um, doing all the things on all the lists that he said I should do. Um, and what I learned is that didn't stop the abuse. In fact, I'm still told that what is I'm experiencing isn't abuse, and I'm making it up. Um, an incident happened a few days ago where he had an iPad, and he was holding it up, saying he was going to bash my effing face in. So I contacted the Domestic Violence Center 
um, and we have we are getting a TPO um, started, um, and that's where I'm headed. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos during this process because this was so therapeutic for me before um, to get this out, and hopefully my story helps somebody else. I've been in this for eight years. I did believe it was all my fault because that's what I was told. Um, and now I know it's not. And I know that this is actually uh, abuse. And um, here we go. <laughs> Call me heartless, but I do not believe that this woman was abused. And guys, trust me when I say that I do not encourage abuse in relationships, but you tell me after listening to this woman talking, do you still believe a word that comes out of her mouth? I mean, she changes her mind all the time. One minute she believes that she is the victim, and two minutes later she believes that she is actually the problem. She got no mind of her own. We are going to close with this video with a clip of her crying after getting a temporary restraining order against her husband. And even at the end, she is still not sure about what she is actually doing. I did it. <laughs> I didn't even get to like tell everything. But I did it. I stood up for myself. I told the truth. Only a little bit of what's going on, and I'm sure I won't get a 12-month one, but I stood up for myself. I stood up for my daughter, and he can never hurt me again, because now he's on notice. <laughs> I am, uh, I don't even know. I'm so sad, but I feel so relieved <laughs> just to tell the truth. <laughs> it was humiliating. All I would tell to this woman's husband is to cut all ties with her and only communicate with her when it comes to their daughter. This type of unstable and overly emotional woman can turn your life into hell at a blink of an eye. Fellas, stay away from these types of women. And above all, keep your head up, focus on your goals, and everything else will follow. I love you and I appreciate you. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share to help push this content to more men in need. I am out. Peace.